Foo Fighters Chris Shifflets has a new podcast. There's a bunch of cool new pedals and guitars I want to show you. And I've got a cool riff of the week for you. So let's get it on. When it comes to guitar playing, the internet can teach you a lot. For Foo Fighters' Chris Schifflet, the internet is a place where well-meaning guitarists are teaching solos of other guitarists. Pretty close to right, but not quite right, because, you know, nobody's ever going to get it exactly like the record. Therefore, he grabbed all of the original players and tells them to show you how these solos are played originally. So goes the premise of Shiflet's newly announced podcast, which is wonderfully titled Shred with Shifty. What makes Shred with Shifty quite exciting is the lineup of guitarists he has in the first season. There is, for example, Weezer's River Cuomo, Rush's Alex Lifeson, Pearl Jam's Mike McGreedy, Richie Zambora, Nile Rogers, Brad Paisley, Blackberry Snorks, Charlie Starr, Lindsay L, Brent Mason, and Jawbreakers, Blake Schwarzenbock. Aside from unpacking their finest souls, each player will discuss their influences and also the gear with Chris Schiffler. Audio of the episodes you can listen to wherever you listen to your podcasts, and the video of the episodes will be available on volume. This mer 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 more more micro looper two has three separate banks for saving sixteen presets per bank. It has plenty of spaces to store your loops and to organize them in an easy to access manner via the main knob in the front of the pedal. It also offers four hundred and eighty minutes of recording time in total, which is insane considering how affordable it is. Each individual slot has 10 minutes of looping time, which should be more than enough for the most musicians. The pedal offers unlimited layering, plus the normal undo and redo functions that you would expect on such a pedal. Apart from that, it has the basic level and threshold controls to keep everything sounding good and nice in the mix. You can get the pedal for about 90 euros on Toman. The link you can find in the description of the video. The Squire Paranormal Range is added up by three regular six string guitars, one 12 string and one bass. They all take a new slant on classic Fender designs. Players can choose from the Esquire Deluxe, the P90 Stratosonic, the 12 Jazzmaster and the Rascal Bass. They all have a poplar or Okumi body, a maple neck and a maple or laurel fretboard. The Esquire Deluxe is essentially a single pickup Telecaster. Next up is the P90 Stratosonic. And this model is just like the original Fender version, but a lot cheaper. The custom Nashville Stratocaster is a hybrid Strat Tally design and incorporates a set of Fender designed Alnico pickups with Telecaster variants in the bridge and the neck position, plus a Strat single coil in the middle position. The 12th string Jazzmaster model has a hockey stick headstock. This model is filled with twin Fender designed Alnico single coil pickups and the Squire Paranormal Rascal. Base comes in metallic black and a sherwood green. All models except of the 12 string and the base are available for 429. The jazz masker and the rest of the base you can buy for 449. Overall, there is some nice and interesting models over here. And Squire can certainly be great value working instruments. Therefore, I'm hoping they're going to be just that. And I'm looking forward to watch some nice reviews of those models from my favorite reviews. Sometimes all you need is just a good 
fuzz pedal. And the new MXR Hybrid Fuzz looks like it might fit that bill. It is based on the classic fuzz face circuit, but with a twist. While the original fuzz face used a circuit with a variant of a silicon transistor and a germanium transistor separately, in the hybrid fuzz, both are featured in one circuit and are always active at the same time. In this way, the best of both worlds is achieved. Aggressiveness from silicon and round and warmth from the germanium. Price-wise, we are looking at 170 euro for the pedal. For that price, that should be a good fuzz pedal. If you want a comparison, you should definitely order the Fire Dirt from Volta Customs. It's one of my favorite fuzz pedals. It's very versatile. You can play any style of fuzz music you want to play on. And it's kind of in the same price range. And if I look at this pedal and see the flexibility of this pedal and look at the MXR, I'm like, well, decide by yourself. From 22nd to 24th September 2023, the guitar community will meet in Mannheim's Rosengarten at the Guitar Summit, the largest guitar show in Europe. The whole weekend is all about electric guitars, acoustic guitars, pedals, amplifiers, accessories, and loads of great guitar music. In addition to the exhibition of 550 brands in the guitar and bass world, more than 100 inspiring workshops and losing live concerts on seven stages, the separately bookable masterclasses are an essential part of the guitar show. On Friday, you can book the masterclass of Joshua Stefan, which masterclass is all about gypsy swing and the basics on rhythm guitar. In his Saturday's two hours masterclass, Greg Koch will show you all the basics on electric guitar, such as hybrid picking, chicken picking, and Travis picking. And on Sunday, the one and only Stratmaster Thomas Bluk himself will hold a masterclass where he talks about blues rock and optimizing your guitar sound on your amplifier. The masterclass will cost you 99 euros and only 25 people per masterclass are allowed. The link to the masterclasses you can find under the video. <laughs> This week's riff, I'm inspired by Chris Schiffler. Why? Because we talked about the, his podcast earlier. So, what I'm trying to show you the best way I can and the precisest way I can is the main riff of the song times like these. We need three fingers. Middle finger, ring finger and the pinky. And we place them on the fifth fret of the A, the G and the E string. That's the chord we need and to achieve the riff we open up the A string and close it again. So we play open, closed. Then we do that again. And if you fasten this up, it sounds like this. Okay, so here's the main riff. What I do is that I place my finger, my first finger on the 10th fret, the middle finger on the 11th and on the 12th, there's the ring finger. And with the first finger, I play on the 10th fret. But before I do that, I play the open string. So I play 0, 12 with the ring finger, 10 with the first finger. Then I switch over to the G string and play 0, 12, 11 with the middle finger. Then again 0, 12, 10 on the D string. 
New Beginning. Going back down on the G string. And then I go up to the A string and play 12, 10. Sounds a little bit awkward in the beginning and it feels uncomfortable to play, but if you get it in your fingers once, you can always repeat it. So let's do it once again. Not too heavy, but also not too simple. All right, this was my first news show here on Tony's Guitar Hangout. If you feel much more comfortable listening to me in German, head over to the The T Guitar Videos channel. If you liked that video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice. Uh, leave a comment under the video how you liked it, ring the bell, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of my videos. Guys, see you next time.